The sun's energy can be harnessed in different ways. Thermal solar panels and photovoltaic panels capture energy from the sun differently. Thermal solar panels convert the sun's energy directly into heat. Photovoltaic solar cells convert the sun's energy into direct current electricity. This container uses thermal solar panels to heat water directly from the sun's energy. Thermal solar panels can harness much more of the sun's energy than photovoltaic panels. This system is highly efficient, even on cloudy days. It is able to heat water up to 70 degrees C and has been shown to work even in cold, wintry conditions. The container can produce 2,000 liters of hot water per day, enough for up to 200 soldiers. The only part of the container requiring power is a small pump that circulates the water through the panel as it is being heated. This makes it possible to produce thousands of liters of hot water with almost no electricity at all. A small photovoltaic cell can easily provide enough power. This unit was deployed in Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan. Testing in the field enabled the designers to make modifications that simplified the engineering and made it more robust and better suited to use in the military. Hot water isn't just a luxury for exercise capable logistician 2015. This smart energy technology was part of the real life support where it was connected to the camp showers. For safety and first aid, where soldiers deal with fuels and lubricants, hot water showers are needed to clean fuels and corrosive material from the skin. Military camps use vast amounts of water. Heating this water for showering and other needs takes huge amounts of energy, which is generated at incredible cost using diesel generators. Using fuel brings other problems, not only high costs, it is dangerous to transport and soldiers protecting convoys are vulnerable to attack. Using solar panels to heat water and generate electricity can help reduce this risk. These solar panels are more efficient as photovoltaic panels. The efficiency of solar panels are about 80%, photovoltaic panels about 20%. In this way, we can save a lot of uh, electricity, a lot of transport, a lot of fuel, and even we can save a lot of human uh, lives.